So me and Doctor Who here uh, are on our way to do something. Because I, I told him a story that made him pity me. And uh, it's a sad tale. It, it's a very sad tale about a place called Deep Strike Mines. And um, we're going to recount this adventure to you over the next uh, video. And I, if I sound really tired and really agitated, there's a reason for that. And <laughs> we'll, we'll, how much bitching have I done about this instance today? Since you've been uh, so online, so much so that you, so much so that you actually made me stay on the game after a raid. Come do it for you again. <laughs> I had valid reasons. I had valid reasons, and you'll see all of them because I recorded the full, freaking clear. I just happened to press the button because it was my first time in the instance, but I was not expecting it to be as bad as it was. It was pretty bad. So, well. This place isn't the easiest of the beginning instances, I'll give you that. Especially on Expert, it used to be one of the worst. But, it'll be easy with me, so. Yeah, of course, because you're level 50 in full hammer now, gear. But, so what we're going to do, because I didn't get to do this on the first run in, like I did in my Iron T Tombs video, and I'm going to do this for the rest of my playthroughs, is I'm going to find out about all the fights before I film the instance. But I took this instance blind, completely blind, not knowing how to do any of the fights. And I kind of regret it, but I like the footage, so I'm keeping it. So what, we, what me and Chog here are going to do is we are going to run through this instance, and we are going to explain the correct way to do everything, which is not how I did it the first time. And... Uh, should be great. So, without any further ado, we'll see you in the future on some of these boss pulls, and it should splice together nice and nice and pretty. So, hey guys, I bet you weren't expecting to see one of these again. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. So I started picking. I picked up uh, this game. It's called Rift. And this is a dungeon I have not been in before. So, of course, record, 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 I do. This place is called Deep Strike Mines. Happy, happy land, happy land, land, land. And I have no idea what it's about. It's the dungeon for stone something or another. And that's about all I remember about it. But um, there's going to be a lot of fast forwarding and stuff in these videos. So, don't worry, I'm going to try to at least cut out most of the grinding and that should make things a lot more interesting and also my party might not <laughs> be able to do this why is everyone dying ah what the heck tank dad healer dad everyone's dead <laughs> oh lord what the hell happened? <laughs> anyway, so that's about the guess. Let's see, let me read off a quest really quick. We got a quest for this place coming out my butt. Uh, do, 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 deep Strike Mines. I've got like five different quests, dear lord. Oh, just all the things and stuff. Oh, whatever, I'll just, I'll probably go over them as I do them. Gotta kill someone, gotta kill someone. Collect source stone. Uh, disable an F device. Uh, and search for Grigory Kreslav's chamber. Huh. Okay, I don't know what that's about. But there you go. And into fast forward time we go. Uh, double time, double speed is what I like to work with for most of these walkthrough playthroughs but anyway um you're about to see something interesting that has nothing to do with the instance pay close attention to the party frames on this next poll as uh you might notice something weird happen with uh the warrior's hp there rather my hp too as i discover i wasn't really attacking the right target but oh 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 that's one death and the warrior leaves Instant, instant rage quit. Instant, yep. And that pretty much set the room mood for the entire dungeon. 
<laughs> because, oh, oh, geez. This place turned out to be a lot harder than I thought it was. Um, and you'll probably see that as we keep running on through here. But we're going to get a new tank soon. Not, it doesn't take too long to find another one in queue, thankfully. And we get off and rolling again, lickety-split. But, uh, these trash pulls are a little bit of a pain in the butt. We end up coming across another couple in the instance that give us some problems later, but past that, y you'll see it when you get there. As for uh, what I'm playing right now, currently, I don't think I actually ended up talking about this at all. I'm playing a rogue. I'm playing an assassination rogue. In Rift, uh, if you are unaware, if you have no idea what Rift is, you can choose what talent trees you want for your class, and you pick from like seven to mix and match. And I'm going up the assassination tree, so I've got access to poisons, uh, backstabby moves, uh, and uh, as of course, as you would expect from a rogue, I generate po five combo points for most of my finishers. And that's kind of how I attack. If you look up on the portrait, the little skulls that pop up, those are combo points. And you can spend them on your magical attacks and abilities. And right now I'm using two finishers. One of them one is uh, increasing your, my attack power, and the other one's just raw damage. And usually sometimes when I take threat, I pop out another one that increases my armor. But that's about my rotation, and that's it's nothing really special. It's very, very basic rogue rotation. Okay, so this was the first boss we came across, I think. Overseer Marcus. Yes, this is the first boss in Deep Strike Mines. The only thing you need to know about this boss is the single fact that he cleaves, which means you do not stand in front of him. At around 50%, he disappears, and in his place, he summons three shades of himself. The tank will pick him up, which in this case is going to be me. And uh, everyone burns him down, and once they're dead, he pops back up, and then you just burn him to zero, and he falls over. It's really simple. <laughs> so he cleaves, huh? He cleaves. Yeah, he cleaves. That's... You would be surprised how many things in this game actually don't cleave, and you would just be like, wow, why does that big monster not cleave? <sighs> All right. Blow this guy up for me. I want to see him die. Overseer Marcus. That sounds like a boss. wonder what this guy does. He appears to be whipping those little dredges. Poor little things. Rotted dredgers. I have a feeling that I kill those ads first. I'm going to go ahead and get on that. Just to get them out of the way, if anything else. Our new tank seems to be doing good. I'm hoping he can handle this boss okay. Alright. On the boss! Build up five combo points. Unleash. Get my buff rolling. Oh god, where'd he go? Oh no, there's multiple copies of him! Ah! <laughs> oh no! Which one is the real him? Is there any way to actually tell? I think everyone's focusing on this copy. No? Okay, that one, that one another copy. Maybe you just gotta kill all of them. Maybe they're all real. Yeah, that's the way it is. Okay. Alright, that makes sense. Cool. Almost down. Get him, guys! I guess he enraged there near the end. Neat. Well, that was fun. Some plate gear drop. I'm just gonna greed roll that. And for a first boss, that was pretty, pretty easy. Pretty good. Pretty good. Nice way to start an instance off. So, do you remember what I said about the tank being kind of good and us being off to a good start? Never say that when you're running an instance. Or this will happen to you. And everyone's dying again. Oh no. Oh dear god. Oh dear god. St <gasps> Come on. Yeah. Oh darn it. Crap.
<laughs> he Ooh, Tang did not Tang did not do ready check apparently. Oh gosh. Man, this this dungeon's a lot harder than Iron Tombs, apparently. Either that or I've got a party that's kind of incompetent. I can't really tell which it is when I'm on DPS duty. Heal up. Rebuff. Look at all my buffs. I gotta click one, two, three, four, five, six different buttons. <laughs> Ridiculous. All right. Hopefully we'll get back off and uh, get to a better little little segue. Jeez. The real question is: Is everyone going to stop and drink, or was it just me? I think everyone's doing it. That's what you need to do, guys. Don't don't be lazy. Don't be lazy, mofo's. Lazy mofo's indeed. So, um. <laughs> We continue on through this instance. After dealing with that pull once, confident that that situation will not arise again, we all charge back into the fray and attempt to uh, rectify the situation that prevented itself oh, no, earlier. I can help you. Okay, go. Um, that rapid talking was, of course, my stress levels going up momentarily. As uh, the tank and the everyone dies, yet again. Hooray! That's number three, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's that's number three. So, we're going to take a happy trip back to uh, the death place and then come back to Deep Strug Mines and do the Walk of Shame back. Which allows me to show off the two ways you can die in this game. First of all, you might have noticed that I popped up for my corpse and in WoW terms, it's, that's sort of like soul stoning. Everyone has a soul stone that's on like a 10 minute cooldown, basically. And you can either res like that, where you just pop out of your corpse and you don't have to run back, or you respawn at the graveyard. You got two options. Um, but yep, 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 yep. yep. Those, the, those two deaths on that one pull made me very unhappy and made me think that we were going to start butting heads of this party. Is I have a ten I have a tendency to get really confrontational with people when it comes to people messing up in instances. It's a wow thing, I guess. Sort of the elitist jerk in me a little bit. But at the same time, in Rift, I can't really do that. Because I've only been back to this game about maybe a week. And like I brought in Shogron to explain the fight because I just have no idea what's going on. And this is called strategy via parody for a reason. Like, you know, I, it can't just be all strategy. Because, or, or sorry, it can't just be all parody. I, I feel like I should at least explain what's going on and show how not to do something rather than just herp, derp, 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 derp all the time. Because, I mean, that's fun, but it's kind of like candy to me. And I'd rather, I'd rather you guys get something out of this, I guess. I don't know. So anyway, we continue and we finally, finally, finally get through this pull that we've died on twice in a row. And this whole time I'm thinking, man, if I could just get ahead and use crowd control or they just wait for me, everything would just have gone so much better. We wouldn't have this problem. <sighs> but I'm checking my quest log to make sure I've got all my quests and stuff and make sure everything's on track. And one of the party members kept mining nodes, which freaked me out because I thought it I thought it might be nodes I needed for a quest, and they were stealing all my objectives. So that that wasn't good. But from this point on, we do a little bit better. It was just that initial the initial dumb and something later that I'll probably end up having to show you next video that made this instance more trouble than it was worth. But anyway, we're about to head up on the next boss, but that's going to be next video. And thank you all for watching. Thank you for watching.